So let's talk about what is the Gunpla Ball Drop. Here's the first picture in the slides. But what is the f what is Gunpla Ball Drop? So early in December, me and Nitrap we decided uh, to hop on down to the store because they just the store uh, many stores across North America just got in their balls, just got in the Master Grade Ball. It's a model kit that we've been looking for for a very long time, a model kit that we've been wanting for a decent uh, while now, but no stores had it and we were like holy shit let's get th let's get them balls um and then in night traps tr uh chat later that night or the sometime after you know i was just like hey we should all build our balls because i mentioned that we we got balls and then purple was like hey i got a ball and then you know a few other folks were like yo we got balls too <laughs> so like let's 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 make let's make it a thing and we'll we'll all build our balls this month and we'll drop them. We'll drop them on New Year's Eve, uh, just like Dick Clark's rocking New Year's Eve. We'll have Quattro Bajinas uh, ballin' New Year's Eve. And I put out the call on Instagram uh, for a bunch of folks uh, to get in on it. And Carmi and Eddie uh, very helpfully promoted it on their on their discords. And I think that was really like the bulk of people that get got in on it was through their discords. So shout out to uh, Eddie and Carmi for that as well. Props to them. And uh, infinite sloths, yeah. Uh, ba -ba. Yes, so so that's that's kind of like the deal. Uh, I think that kind of summarizes it well. So let's take a look at the ball. So yesterday, just a number of us, all of uh, thirteen people in total, guys, which was way more than I ever thought. Thought maybe we'd have like five people doing it at at best. Thirteen people got in on on Gunpla Ball Drop, uh, and this is. This is uh, Bacon's, uh, and I have their IG as well as their TW is for Twitch. I realize that that's more commonly known for, for Twitter, but that's their Twitch. Uh, that's his Twitch, Bacon. Um, Golden Ball. If you, <laughs> if you guys don't know, this is a pun in, Japan, in, in J Japanese uh, for balls. You know, the human ball. It's a pun. Look up, uh, look up Nodochinko, I think is what it is, what it's, is the term there. And, uh, and he painted a golden ball. Pearlescent blue-green. Yeah, so Bacon here has been experimenting with, uh, with, uh, candy coating. And I think this is his second or third candy coating project. And it turned out really, really nice. Uh, so shout out to Bacon. Good job on your ball, good sir. And again, if people want to see more photos... You can check out the uh, the the Instagram, but yeah, so clean. Kintama, hmm, perhaps I don't know. And here's Carmi's. Uh, Carmi went with like a kind of like star-studded, shining, gleaming ball, you know, um, kind of kind of like the actual ball that drops in Times Square. That's kind of what it reminds reminds me of. Oh, Bacon, we just looked at yours, Bacon. Good job, everyone was complimenting it. Um, yeah, the bling bling ball, dazzling, bedazzled. Carmi, oh no, oh yes. Gumplo Sister's so nice, it, what, it is so nice, look at that. Kintama, okay, my, 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 my mistake. Uh, Mando, bling bling for the diva that she is. <laughs> the bling. Yeah, and and I have to say, Carmi, the thing that I I love the most is the accessories, the uh, the the sake and what is this like dango or something like that skewers. I love that. That's just so good. I love it. I love it. Good job, Carmi. And again, there's the uh, Instagram and her Twitch right there. If you guys don't know, this is another little angle. She's got the uh, the matching kind of gold piping, like a rose gold silver and all the studs how many studs in total did you count small balls for my c consumption my buy ball <laughs> how many how many of these uh bedazzlers did you use that's a lot it seems like a lot very fun very fun job very festive and i believe that uh carmi uses uh like a uh airbrush airbrush you didn't count <laughs> Uh, spray airbrush marker situation 
very very interesting technique and also i didn't notice this at first but it says 80 says, says 69 right there right there it says 69 didn't notice that <laughs> 200 probably should make it a contest so next we have coleman uh i think the first tw is his twitter and the second one is his twitch it's, i wasn't thinking properly this morning with all that but that's coleman and that's a this is a a 30 minute missions model kit which was recently released oh yeah viper he spotted it spotted it yeah this is ball it's it's not quite ball but you know it's all fun and game so it's it's more egg like but we, we're gonna roll with it and yeah this is a recent it's round it's round and that's what counts <laughs> we like round <laughs> Um, a 30 minute missions kit and I want one of these myself um, Coleman here has painted it I thought maybe they were going for a Iron Man sort of color scheme which which it shares in common with doc Dr. Robotnik which I think was the actual role with it wink 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 yeah spherical um, Yes, going for like a Dr. Robotnik or rather Eggman kind of look, right? Which, which, yeah, pulled it off nicely. Very nice, very nice. Cool model. I, I want one too. Oh, this is mine. We don't have to talk about mine. Forget it. <laughs> Here's Eddie's, which is the, uh, which is Haro. And this is really, really interesting, guys, because it's, uh, what is it, Eddie? It's the, uh, uh, figureize Haro, figureize Haro, w uh, with the clear exterior and the interior Eddie painted. And I think we have a second picture of the interior here. And again, everyone, that's a uh, figureize Haro. There's the Instagram and and Twitch for Eddie at the bottom there, guys. Yes, yeah, he pin painted the interior, and it's really cool how it shows through with the clear plastic. Really, really interesting, and the eyes are really shiny. I like that a lot. And uh, I only have two pictures for each person here, but you can, there's all these really interesting details for Eddie's. Uh, uh, there's an H here, all around the, the, all around the ball, there's like the letters that spell Haro, and there's the H. There's even a tiny little Haro here in, this, in, the, in the top of the head. Very, very cool model. Very fun, very fun. So that's Eddie's. So yeah, we weren't just limited to the balls, everyone. We were kind of, you know, again, this is this is just all for fun, really, right? So you know, uh, ball, haro, egg, egg thing, it's all good. Um, oh, you can get it on time. Uh, the light kit. Mando reminds me of a psycho rabbit for some reason. <laughs> Uh, da -da. Just gnarly. The paint job is awesome. Eddie, there's a light up kit. This can get in time. Oh, okay. Mando, wonder what that would look like under a UV lamp. Hmm. That would be cool. Oh, they glow under the black light? That's neat. Oh, boy. Look at this. This is exemplars. <laughs> Exemplar. Holy crap, dude. Uh. That's ballin'. That's ballin' for sure. So Exemplar uh, worked on this, I think, just in a week. And he used, like, a sort of layered... I don't know how you describe it, guys. Like, it was just, like, several layers of clear coats and different kinds of of, uh, of color-shifting paint. And and I only have two pictures here, but it just, it just, like, changes color as he moves it around and everything. Really, really nice. And he put some lights in it, too. Uh, killer. Killer work from Exemplar. Uh, he beasted that ball. Bacon. Damn. Yeah, guys. Viper. Seeing him assemble it live was a treat. So different in the light. Oh, really? Damn. I missed I missed uh, seeing him do the wiring. Uh, very, very cool. Yeah, look at that light. The, the, the color shifting and everything. So cool. Here's another shot of the interior. Yeah, you see how it's kind of purplish? over there and then yellowish and red really interesting from one picture to the other see that kind of like orangey and brown and then here it's kind of more yellowish and reddish very interesting so shout out to the exemplar great job killer and this is joe's uh joe did a haro 
Um, I think Eddie might know, but this Haro here is some kind of like special edition thing that you can only get like in some place in Japan or something. Very, very cool. This is another clear outside Haro, but this is the smaller uh, Haro version. So it's different than Eddie's that you had seen previously. Um, and here's a look at the interior for the Haro and he sprayed it with a chromatic a chromatic uh, marker using the spray setup I think and that's really really it just turned out really really nice very very cool um, Gundam BAS Haro oh Gundam base Haro oh right 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 black tristar clear just gnarly um I'm like teetering on the edge of inspiration and looking down the abyss of no way I could do something this good with all these posts. I think I think I think the proper attitude is just be like, hey, that's really fun and 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 they did something interesting and and I want to try to do something like that. I, you know, uh, I, I no one here that has participated in in the Gumpla Ball Drop. None of us are here to be like hey, look what I can do. You can't do this. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, just do it. Just do something, right? Just do something and have fun with it, right? So yeah, that's uh, from, from Joe R. Inferno. Shout out to Joe. Awesome job. And this is Johnson. Johnson, I think, uh, was one of the last people that posted their pics on Instagram. And uh, I actually had to ask him to do it, like, because I was watching his stream, like, late at night, like, like mere minutes before New Year's. And I was like, I was like, oh, dude, if you just post that to Instagram, then I can just, like, grab the pics for my, uh, you know, for the story. But, yeah, this is the pair of balls. He's the only person who did the uh, the twin ball set, the HG twin balls. And, you know, those are pre some pretty sizable balls, I got to say, guys. You know, in my mind, I was thinking that the twin balls would be kind of small and unimpressive. But yeah, they, they look nice. It's a nice pair of balls. <laughs> I, I gotta get those ball jokes in. This is the last this is the last chance. I'm gonna get it all out of my system now. But he did a great job. Um he was showing showing them to me on stream and the light was kind of blowing out the the shading, right? And when he took the photos, I was able to appreciate that that kind of soft shading that he did. Uh so shout out to Johnson, really good job. The twin balls and I think he said he was gonna do some panel lining still on them he was telling me he wanted to do some tweaks on them but yeah they turned out really really nice shout out to Johnson for them them twin balls and again there's his Instagram and uh, and twitch if you guys want to follow I will be posting this on YouTube as well and uh, and probably listing everyone there too if you guys want to like you know get that information I think I followed everyone you presented in your story. Okay, cool, nice. That's great. Yeah, that was a, that was another great thing is how we could all just sort of follow each other. Maybe if there was some folks that we didn't know of, we could all just follow each other and look. Um, here is Jose Mo Cheese, and now Jose was the most the most festive, the most party animal. Uh, uh, ball entry and you might think okay this is he built it right but he took it out to a party he literally took this ball out to a new year's eve slash wedding party <laughs> as his like plus one date <laughs> so that clearly so he clearly wins as the most partying ball and ball of all <laughs> there it is and there's there's is with some beer i don't is this or not beer but is that bottle of wine like is that a tiny bottle of wine? The biggest baller. Is that a tiny bottle of wine or is he using some weird force perspective thing? It's tripping me out. But that was awesome. He actually took it out with him. <laughs> yeah, it says champagne bubbly right there. It was like a, a, a New Year's slash wedding party. Too good. Too good. Shout out to Jose. He pulled that off. He pulled that off nicely. Bravo. Uh, the, the sheer... The sheer balls it takes to take out your model kit, your little toy, out to like an adult event. <laughs> bravo, bravo. Oh, Mando. It's Mando's. Look at this, guys. 
this is brilliant this is absolute brilliance um, wow this is just so good such a brilliant idea and it's just kind of like damn how did how did anyone not even think about that before that's just such a great idea and he pulled it off so well he was using 3d printing to to do the wings and i know that he was like scaling them up to get them right and and again i think that mando like a lot of us were probably trying to to to, to work on it as much as we could like right up to the deadline but it worked so well dude um congrats so good i even the the little window how did you do the window what how did you do that that's so good dude you're cracked <laughs> So good, bravo, bravo. What the heck? And the lasers, where are those from? I think I think I see what you mean about like the seams here, but but whatever, man. It's, it's so good. So good. I love it. Good job. Like, huh. You pulled that off, man. You pulled that off. And here we have Murdoch. Murdoch Murdoch's garage. And he went with a racing themed ball. Um, the lasers are standard HG beam sabers. Ah, the cockpit is printed also. Okay, okay, very nice. Very nice, very nice. So seamless. The best Mando, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. So so Murdoch here went with a racing theme um, and he was telling me how he bought plot plate and he was like, I'm gonna use plot plate for the first time. And if you look here, it's a little, it might be a little hard to see, but in the back, the back wing and then the front sort of uh the front part here he did that with plot plate all from scratch first time ever using plot plate are you serious are you serious murdoch that is nuts and the color the colors which i believe is also sort of themed after an existing kind of um uh, uh racing colors or something uh yeah he was saying how he was having some problems some difficulty with uh with paint coming off but but he pulled it off man i think a lot of us had some issues that we ran into in this project but it's all about how you recover from it like you know it's not gonna it's not gonna get us down it's not gonna uh stop us uh it's how you recover from from those issues and yeah that's a good look at the back there um has a spectra vision 2001 feel even has a spoiler hell yeah um, I've been giving the porcelain god offerings all morning, <laughs> Eddie. <laughs> uh, the front spoiler. Yep, yep, yep. Love with the simple and elegant painting. Very clean. Yes, yes. Uh, Carmi Lol. Uh, Viper, amazing. Just gnarly. Sick AF. Yes, yes, yes. Like how he laid out these colors. Yeah, he masked them. Really nice, really nice. With the spoiler. Hell yeah. Pod racing. <laughs> Uh, Eshwin, I just, I was just looking through Instagram. I follow all you guys and seeing them all come up. It's amazing the variety and styles and approaches to a common model. Yeah, yeah, so cool, right? It was just, you know, for the model, it's not a flashy model, right? But it kind of lent itself to a lot more creativity, I think. And here's my brother, Night Trap. Shout out to Night Trap, my brother. Uh, that's his uh, Twitch at the bottom there and his Instagram. Uh, as I said, he was the one who was like like i want a ball like all year long we've been looking for balls <laughs> and finally the stores got him in yeah it's like a koi um uh water slide yeah he bought like a unique water slide set for that and uh yeah he pulled it off really nice a dark kind of stealth ball kind of look to it very very nice um he was using a lot of washes and glazes i think as well and he also lit up his ball too which is pretty nuts um <laughs> also like uh exemplar he he went in and lit up his ball that's also another look at the uh, the water slides there where he kind of split one water slide over two panels um yeah the lights very very cool great job to night trap um yeah and that's also my brother too so very very good job the glazing the glazing yeah, hell yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Are you kidding me? 
Are you kidding me? Whew. With the heat, with the fire, Viper. This is fire. The color scheme. The color scheme is just on point. Sort of the variety of tones and and the weathering is, is just enough, you know, not kind of like not kind of like going to bananas with the uh, with the with the with the weathering and the rust. The base too, it's kind of hard to see here, but he did like this kind of like caution symbol coloring with the base. Seriously, dude. The rust, frosted cockpit window. Mm. Yeah, great stuff from Viper. Please, please check out Viper. That's his Instagram right there. Amazing work. That's the. This is the behind. Really nice. Uh, just really nice. Cho oh, you know, there's also a lot of subtle things that I don't have the pictures for here. There's really some nice subtle tweaks, like the way he extended the uh, this back, this back part here. Very subtle. And there's some other poses that he posed with this model. Um, very, very nice stuff. Like just sort of the way he arranged the, the small arms. Very cool. And I think that might be it, guys. I think that might be uh, just about it for the ball drop. Uh, I guess we could take a quick look at mine. I only took one picture of mine in this slideshow. Uh, how do I do that? Well, as we kind of recap the ball drop. And here's mine. <laughs> Um, the multiverse, third party water slides. Um, yeah, guys. So just to recap, um, this has just been a really fun kind of thing to do. Uh, really it started off as like a cheeky joke, right? Balls. <laughs> Let's build our balls and drop our balls. <laughs> and I think everyone kind of got behind it because it was just kind of funny best for last not really <laughs> did you just see the last the other one <laughs> did you see all the other ones guys it was amazing stuff but uh let's see let's just read the chat real quick didn't include yours uh oh yeah the extension on uh, on vipers yeah love the lighting you used yes i i've I, i've been trying to you know practice with like kind of setting up my lights i think that's like a three or four light setup Um, Eshwin, this is great. Got a whole narrative happening. Also, weathering battle damages always. <laughs> yeah, Baltiverse. So, guys, um, as I was saying, uh, it really started off as a cheeky joke, and and I thought it might be funny if more people got in on it. And I wasn't really expecting much of a turnout. Maybe we could get like you know four or five people in on it, right? Uh, but it it seemed to be a thing that everyone kind of got behind and it was it was fun and also sh again i want to shout out especially um uh carmy and eddie for posting about it on their discord and i think that kind of attracted a lot more attention because i don't have a discord i i i, sh I should publish my discord I, I keep on saying i will uh, i don't have a published discord let's put it that way so i'm gonna do that but but yeah i don't have a big community i'm a i'm a baby i'm a small time streamer i'm just a baby i'm just a little baby uh, Eddie and Carmi are 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 uh, are the big the biggins, and uh, yeah, it was great. I'm so happy that many people uh, participated. Carmi, yeah, yeah, for sure. Thanks everyone, and and Mando was a ton of fun. And it wasn't for a prize. It wasn't for money. It wasn't for any kind of thing. It was just sheerly out of the love, the love of the game. So uh, so so yeah, it, it just turned out really nice and. Uh, I think we should do more things like this. I think we should do more things uh, uh, throughout the year. I don't know what I don't know what form of shape that will take, 
and I think uh, we should do something like this at the end of the year, but I don't know if that's going to be the ball drop part two. You're small, Eddie. If you're small, then I'm like, like, like a little wee speck of a ball. I'm like a little wee tiny guy. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know what we should do for next year, but we should do something. And we can talk about it. We can talk about it. We can think about it. But I don't really want to think about it too much right now because I'm just like, whew, let's just relax now, guys. It's over. The ball drop is done. And the ball, drops are, the ball jokes are over. So there it is, guys. Uh, Quattro Begina's ball drop. <laughs> ball in New Year's Eve. Ball drop. Tw Gunpla ball drop 2022. It's over, guys. No more ball jokes. Uh, the ball jokes will go on, Carmi. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> but yeah, thanks again, everyone, for participating. And, uh, and we'll do it again. Possibly. We ball. <laughs>